Hello guys, this is Ben with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Today I'll be showing you guys how to take off a Series 9 screen, 41mm to be exact, GPS, and we're going to be replacing the screen. All the tools you see right here will be down in the description down below, except this tool right here. But you could always just use a rubber band or some sort of uh, clamp to hold the screen down so it can adhere once you put on the glue. You also need a heat gun or some type of heat. You could use a, um, a hair gun and just kind of go around the edges but yeah let's begin the repair so first of all we're gonna put the tools aside uh, we're gonna grab our heat gun and start applying some heat to the sides and corners of the screen just like this I have my heat gun set at about 190 we're just gonna go around the edges just like this All right, once you got the screen pretty hot, you're gonna grab some alcohol and go down just like this in a side to side motion. Go into the crack and just do this all around while applying some alcohol to your pry tool. Once you went all around, you can now begin by prying the screen up just like this, but don't put too much pressure because it could damage the screen. The series nine screens are a little more fragile than the series eight. So just be very gentle with it. Take your time, or else you might have to buy another screen if you're not doing a screen repair. All right, there we go. As you can see, the screen is now lifted up. It still works pretty good, just as it should. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this finger, put it just like this. We're gonna slowly roll the tape up and kinda wanna do it like this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Be very gentle with it. Once you get to about right here, you're gonna grab your plastic spudger and lift the connection points up. Sometimes you need to kind of remove this tape so you can kind of see where it is. It'll be just right behind here, but just so you don't damage anything. There we go. And then we're just gonna slide it back just like that. There we go. Just remove this extra tape. That might be left over once you take off the ribbon. Hey, this is Joe from the Sauna. If this video brought you value, please support us by buying parts, tools, refurbished electronics, or sending your device in for repairs so we can keep offering you free repair tutorials. Back to the video. All right, and there we have it. That's how you remove the screen. And before we put on the new screen, we're just gonna kind of clean this up, move the tape back so we could connect our new screen onto this unit. And by doing that, we're just gonna kind of grab this tape and move it back. just like this and before you put on the screen I would grab some alcohol and a q-tip and kind of just clean up the edges right here from the old glue and whatever gunk might be left over just so the glue kind of uh, heals better and so the screen doesn't just come off later down the road just make sure it's nice and clean as clean as you can get it all right so once you're done cleaning it you're gonna grab your new screen. You're gonna kind of align these points right here. Sometimes it might be a little difficult. Other times it's fairly easy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of slide them into their positions. This one's a little difficult. There we go. Now we have both of the ribbons in. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clamp them down by just pushing them down like this. We're gonna put the whatever tape we have left over just kind of back on, just like that. And then kind of pat this down so it kind of sits nicely. We're gonna try to turn on the screen just to make sure it works. 
because now that it is connected and you always want to test it before putting the glue on just to make sure the screen works properly, the touch works, no lines on the screen. Usually you want to kind of press both of the power button and the crown just so it kind of uh, reboots. Alright, so once you have the unit turned on, we're just going to see the touch works. As you can see, it is working as it should. Once that, once you've done that, we're going to grab our Joe's glue. And then we're going to proceed by putting all the glue a decent amount around the edges right here where the screen sits. So let's begin with that. I'll give you guys kind of a peek at how much glue I put. Hopefully you guys could see it. We're going to just align the screen. And then once you've aligned the screen, you can just kind of push it down just like that. And it should just sit pretty flush. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a paper towel, whatever you have, tissue, that anything that can wipe down the extra glue off the screen just like this and once you've removed all the extra glue you're just going to grab a clamp or rubber bands whatever you have and just kind of clamp it down just so the screen can adhere to the glue that is how you repair a screen on a series 9 41 millimeter gps it works the same way on a series 5 a series 9 45 millimeter as well all the tools that you saw in this video as well as all the parts on a series 9 will be linked down below in the description if you guys don't feel comfortable in doing this repair yourself you could always send it to us we have techs that do repairs on these a lot so it's it's not a challenge for us but it might be a challenge for you if you don't feel comfortable thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next have a good one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.